it's exciting to try and retain your position in the team. So if there's guys playing well, the coaches will reward you. That's a tough place to go and play. It feels that the, the stands are right on top of you. Plenty of enthusiasm from Nico. He's, uh, he's jumping out of his skin to play again. Yeah, it's been great uh, coming back into to Glasgow. Um, obviously, the guys are well on their way with their season. I'm excited to get back in into the Warriors shirt. I think uh, I'm looking forward to getting stuck in with the boys and uh, hope we can uh, take it a step further this year. Yeah, looking at the results of, of the season so far, obviously uh, we'd be a, dis a bit disappointed with a two and one record. Um, I think it's important to acknowledge that we did we did get the you know the last win. So everyone's um, training hard, you know, wanting to make a difference, and hopefully we can continue to build um, as the international players now starting coming back into the into the fray of things and Europe around the corner. Um, you know, I think we're we're building to something special this year. Hey. It's really exciting actually because you've got um, guys like myself that maybe have not played as much as you know all these international players. Um, so it's, it's, it's exciting to try and retain your position in the team, um, but it's going to be hard for them as well coming back in. So if there's guys playing well, the coaches will reward you um, and you'll get a start on the bench. So. Jeremy was saying the reason he thought putting you up this week was he reminded us because he scored a, a special try against the Dragons <laughs> not so long ago, was it? I told him that I was refusing to come and speak to you this week and he said that every every time we play Dragons away, uh, that he asked me out. So the last time I did media, I think it was two years away when we drew, when we drew away to them. Uh, so yeah, that's all. I, I just get real, reeled out every time it's uh, Dragons away, I think. How far now. was it? 60, Andrew? Uh, 60. And, and back again. <laughs> I haven't been there for a few years now, but um, but it's a tough place to go and play. Um, they've got a really faithful crowd that gets behind them. They get really loud. The stadiums, you know, it feels that the the stands are right on top of you. You know, I think uh, the boys are have built in the last game. Found some positives that they can start building on, and uh, hopefully continue to do that this weekend. Got, we got three of the boys back, only, only using Nico this week. Plenty of enthusiasm from Nico. He's, uh, he's jumping out of his skin to play again. Obviously, we're going to play him on a wing versus um, nine, where he's been playing for Fiji. and uh, He's been great for us there in the past, so uh, looking forward to him getting out there. You have a young guys who haven't started a lot of footy for us. Um, really impressed with Kieran. He, um, uh, he's getting a real edge to his game around um, you know, tackle and carry and clean. And, and Adam, Adam's a big lad. Uh, he's played really well for Sterling over the last couple of years. Got a very good ball on hand. And Adam Ash is in the squad for the first game of the campaign. Uh, good to have him back in the starting lineup. Yeah, he's had a, he's had a few issues. We, we planned on starting him against Scarlets a couple of weeks ago, and he, he got a concussion that week. So, um, yeah, so he's back in um, and excited. He's got a nice uh, blonde crop of hair, so you won't miss him. He'll uh, he'll have to be accurate. And Dragons have some dangerous players in the backs. So it'll be a tough game down at Rodney Parade. Yeah, to have, uh, especially out wide, if we can uh, defend well and put a lot of pressure on, there may be opportunities off that. So, um, but yeah, look, they're a handful. We're well aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> 